Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on React Native. So in this video, we'll be exploring about how to, uh, you know, convert a basic React Native application into an APK so that you could use that APK on your own phone. So APK is only applicable for your uh, Android part and not your iOS. Okay, so we'll be implementing that. So previously we had implemented this uh, this kind of thing that is converting an React Native pro uh, project into a particular APK. But this was done specifically for your Expo projects. So this time we'll be following for the second one that is the React Native CLI projects, right? So let's get started. So before starting off, make sure that there are no errors inside of your Android projects or your Android directory that is inside of your file tree. So there should not be any errors uh, that is related to your Android directory. Okay, if, if there are any errors in iOS also, that's fine. That's uh, completely fine. Not an issue with that because we are only dealing with the Android folder because we are building an APK out of it, right? So to check whether or not your uh, Android part of it for the project is completely free or not, you could actually run a command. So let's come into the terminal over here. So here I've just taken up a basic kind of project. So I'm just going to make the APK out of this itself. So you could try for your own different kinds of applications, whatever you have built, right? So now inside of your terminal over here, I'm just going to say npx react native doctor. So this would give us all of the errors as well as uh, the way to fix it. If at all, there are any inside of your project. So this would give the details for both your iOS as well as Android. So most of you would have used this. So I'm just going to use it again. So here I'm just going to say npx react native doctor and then I'm going to press and enter. So as you can see, it's currently saying it is running all of the diagnostics. So as you can see, we currently have zero errors as well as zero warnings. So if I just, you know, uh, make the terminal a bit big over here. So as you can see, it is giving uh, all of the details that is for your Android as well as for your iOS. Okay, so previously I had one error for Android that is the SDK tools version was not present. It was not taking it up. So it, it asked the version for 34.0.0. So I, I had I had to install that into my Android Studio application. So I'll just show you that once like how to install that. So these are the required things that is your Java JDK and you need to install Android Studio first of all, whether it's Mac or uh, your Windows, you need to set up the path that is the environment variable. Okay, so after that, we need to install your yeah, Android SDK as well. So for that, I'm just going to show up the application over here. Okay, so this is not the one. So I'm just going to open up the Android Studio. Okay, so over here, as you can see, uh, I'm just going to go up, uh, go to my tools and then SDK manager. There is something known as this. So let's press on that. So as you can see, these are the required things I've installed in SDK platforms. Okay, so currently it's asking for 34.0.0 and these are the required SDK tools. So it asked for, you know, 34.0.0. So I just uh, press on that and press on apply. So it should take in a couple of minutes to download and then it should add this into that particular thing. Right. So that's it. And yeah, apart from that, make sure you install your, your emulator, your Android SDK platform tools, your Android emulator. And this is the, well, this is the version for CMake. And yeah, this also is important Android SDK command line tools. That's the latest. And yeah, that's it. So these are the required things. So after doing that, you need to, of course, set it up. I mean, set it in the uh, path that is environment variable. So in Windows, I mean, I, I do not have a currently a Windows system. So I'm just going to show up in my Mac system. That is how I've set up the required things. So I'm just going to open up my file. That is the ZSHRC. Yeah, that is this one. So currently I have, you know, exported all of the required things that is Android SDK underscore root and then Android underscore home. And this is the path for setting up your Android home that is related to your emulator, platform tools, tools, and then tools bin. And this is for basically your Java home. This is the version I'm using Java JDK that is 17.0. Okay. So these are the required things. So in this file, typically we, we uh, you know, set the path that is dot uh, ZS uh, HRC. So after doing this, just press on file and then save the file after adding all of these details. And then after that, you could just go ahead and then uh, execute it. That is react native run doctor or after saving the file, you could actually, you know, hit source and then the file name so that it takes the required values. So just in case if you get any kind of issues while, you know, implementing this, you could, you know, 
just uh, put it down in the comments i'll try helping or resolving uh, those issues okay so currently as you can see the android is uh, error free so now let's start with the first step so first step is to you know uh, generate a java generated signing key which is basically in the form of a key store that is used to generate a react native uh, executable that is for your android part so i'm just going to come over here and then i'm just going to paste it so this is the code i'll be sending the code to paste inside of your description so you need to, uh, so you need to make two change that is your a uh, change for the key uh, the the name of the key store so in my case i've just given a uh, new underscore key dot key store so you could give uh, your different name or you could actually pass in the same name as well so here i'm just going to say new key dot key store and even in the alias part uh, over here i've just passed in uh, i've just passed a new underscore key so over there also you could go ahead and then change to the key name you want to so after that i'm just going to you know press on enter so after that it's going to ask the password so as you can see it says enter your key store password so make sure you enter any uh, password that is easy to remember so here i'm going to enter my password and i'm going to press on enter so it's again asking for uh, the second thing that is re-enter new, uh, new password so again i'm going to enter the same password so again enter so it's going to ask in what's your first name and last name so you could you know enter that over here and then again enter so name of your organization i'm just going to pass in my name and what is the name of your organization okay so this was for your unit so never mind so here name of the organization i'm just going to pass in software okay so just software so enter so name of your city so i'm just going to pass in bangalore So state, let's pass in the state. And so what is the two-letter country code? So I'm just going to pass in I in. Okay, so it's going to ask us this one. It's, is it correct? So I'm just going to pass in yes over here. And then I'm going to say enter. So as you can see, it has generated this particular key store inside of a Mac. So I'm not sure about the path. So you could actually search out your system. If you're using Windows, you would get that key store, right? so as you can see that the first part is done that is generating a java signed key store so now the next step is we need to add that particular key store into your project okay so first of all i'm just going to open up the location that is where my key store is present so just make sure you know the name so in my case it is new underscore key so after finding the key store in in your system that is wherever it's present you need to put it under your android your, and your, uh, it's, it's going to go into your Android uh, under your app. Okay, it should come over here into this particular directory. Okay, so my key store name is uh, new underscore key. So I'm just going to go over here search. I'm going to say new underscore key. So as you can see, that's the one. So let us scroll down to search for that again. So as you can see over here, it's there over here. That is new underscore key dot key store. So this is the key store which was generated. Uh, with the command which we gave okay so now after this we need to put it into your app directory so just drag and drop it so here i'm just going to say app and then put it over here so as you can see our key store is put into the app directory so android app and then new underscore key dot key store so let's close this off that's not required as of now so now after you know entering the key store file into your app and then i mean yeah into your app and then under that it's present okay so after that we need to you know add your uh the key store configuration so for that uh, we're just going to go into android app and then build the build.gradle file so here basically we're, go we're going to modify it i mean not this build.gradle we're going to go into app yeah this one so the build.gradle that's present inside of your app directory of your android folder so here we need to add basically your key store configuration so let's just scroll down over here and where we have the signing configs so over here we have the debug object already present so we need to add the uh, release object containing our uh, key store configuration so i'm just going to paste it over here so make sure you copy the exact same thing so it's going to be release it's going to be the store file so here you need to pass in your key name so my, in my case it's going to be 
a new underscore key so let's come back to the previous state yeah in my case it's going to be new underscore key and over here also it's going to be new underscore key so I, I have given the same password itself my password is password itself so I'm just gonna leave it as default so enter your password over here and I'm gonna save the file so now the next step is we need to go ahead and then create a uh, assets folder that is uh, into your uh, app src main and then assets so we're gonna go into Android first of all and then app we're gonna go into uh, main over here I mean not main we're gonna go into src and then finally main so inside main we're gonna create assets folder so over here we need to write a, a, a output file based on whatever command we execute so I'm gonna say assets over here okay so not a file it's gonna be a folder let's delete this so let's press on main and then new folder it's gonna be assets so now I'm just gonna paste in the code to execute so that the output is written into your index.android.bundle file so I'm just gonna paste in the code over here and then I'm gonna press in enter okay so I'll be sending the code we just need to do one step that is we need to you know release so here we need to just run gradlu assemble release so for windows it's just gonna be a gradlu assemble release whereas for mac it's gonna be dot forward slash gradlu assemble release so I'm gonna say dot forward slash or gradlu assemble release so if you could you know check out the assets folder the file would have been created that is your index.android.bundle of uh, the bundle of file basically so now over here let's come into the android directory uh, just run uh, let's just execute this that is for the apk release so it's going to be dot forward slash gradlu assemble release whereas for uh, the windows part it's, it's just going to be the gradlu release without the dot and uh, forward slash so let's press on enter over here so as you can see it is it has started initializing the project so once after initializing i mean once after finishing your uh, initialization it's going to go into the configuration part and then after configuring 100 percentage it's going to go into the execution part so after uh, execution is completed uh, finishing without any errors then in that case uh, inside of your build outputs your apk would be present so you could use that so this is uh, basically the final step so let's give it some time it's going to take in a couple of minutes to you know complete the entire application so let's wait for that okay so over here we have got uh, an error which says the assembly release is not found in your root project because i made the most silly mistake by you know entering the wrong spelling of release i do not know that so let's uh, rerun this again so it's gonna be r e l e a s e not the one which i entered so this was a mistake so let's do it again so hopefully this time it should you know give us the correct output so i'm just gonna press and enter So as you can see the configuration part is done so it, it's going to uh, start the execution part so once this completes uh, the apk would be uh, present inside of your uh, android app uh, build outputs apk and then your output dot apk so as you can see it's almost done executing that is it's at almost 80 percentage is done So as you can see the task is complete and you should be able to see your apk present inside of your android folder itself so let's open up the file tree and then i'm going to go into my android folder and then into the app app is already open go into the build outputs as you can see outputs is generated go into your apk as you can see this is your apk the app release.apk so this you could copy it down to your desktop and then uh, put it down to your uh, uh, android phone and then you could try using the apk so this was the process of you know converting a react native project that is the react native cli project into a apk so if you find this interesting please do the like button so let's see in the next video and then thank you for watching